Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Django developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a problem with Gunnicorn, specifically the error message, no module named django.core WSGI. Let's dive into the details and see how we can resolve this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. The error message indicates that Gunnicorn cannot find the Django module. This usually happens when the virtual environment is not activated or Django is not installed in the environment. First, ensure that your virtual environment is activated. You can do this by running the command shown on the screen. Next, let's verify that Django is installed in your virtual environment. You can check this by running the command to list installed packages. If Django is not listed, you need to install it using the requirements.txt file. Run the following command to install all dependencies. Finally, after ensuring Django is installed and the virtual environment is activated, try running Gunnicorn again with your application. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the no module named django.core.bsgi error, check your Gunnicorn service file. Ensure the working directory is set to your app directory. In the service file, make sure the exec start command points to the correct Gunnicorn executable and your WSGI application. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. If you're facing a no module named django.core.wsgi error with Gunnicorn, it might be due to Gorn being run from a globally installed package instead of your virtual environment. To check, run which Gunnicorn and see if it points to your virtual env bin directory. If it doesn't point to the virtual environment, first deactivate it using deactivate env. Then uninstall the globally installed Gunnicorn with pip uninstall Gunnicorn. Finally, reactivate your virtual environment. If you're using virtual end wrapper, you can do this with work on env. After these steps, Gunnicorn should work as expected. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue with Django and Gunnicorn, you should run the command using the correct syntax. Specifically, use Gunnicorn followed by your app's WSGI application. Remember, the basic usage of Gunnicorn follows a specific pattern 
It requires options and the app module. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. If you're encountering a no module named django.core.wsgi error, it might be due to being in the wrong directory. Make sure to navigate to the correct directory before running your command. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. The user encountered a no module named django.core.wsgi error while using Gunnycorn. They discovered that Gunnycorn was referencing a system installation instead of the one in their virtual environment. To resolve the issue, they ran a command that explicitly used the Gunnycorn from the virtual environment, binding it to the desired address. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.